Imagine if actual tennis was this horny. Like, imagine just turning on Wimbledon and Andy Murray is there, raw dog eye fucking Novak Djokovic across the court. You know the biggest problem with movies where the main goal is to just be as horny as possible the entire time? It's that you couldn't possibly like any of the characters. Who would you rather root for? The angry loser who's trying to cuck his ex-best friend with his ex-girlfriend? Or the girl who's angry that she lost her career so she's taking it out on everyone around her and seesawing back and forth between these two guys like a six-year-old hopped up on sugar? Or the guy who's a cuck and feels like a cuck all film and is just cuck, cuck, cucking all the way down the road. That's all he does. That's his whole character, honestly. And he was just waiting originally for his best friend to implode so that he could steal his girl. Yeah, the correct answer is you don't want to root for any of them. Remember when tennis used to be a gentleman's sport? Well, too bad, bitch. Zendaya stars as a tennis prodigy who's angry that her career ends, so she takes on coaching and coaches her husband, who is also the ex-best friend of her ex-boyfriend. So when all three of them run into each other at a very small stakes tournament, the stakes suddenly get surprisingly horny. Believe me, if you are sexually frustrated, you will be more so at the end. If you are not sexually frustrated, you will be at the end. And if you want an answer as to who ends up with each other, who wins the match or any of the other questions posed by this film, you will be just frustrated at the end. Sexually. This isn't a film about answers. It isn't a film about cheating or love or relationships or anything, really. Uh, it's a film with a very singular message. Tennis is really fucking sexy? But this isn't a film about tennis, really. It's a film about tennis like a uh, tennis coach teaches big, busty housewife her drills 14. Is a tennis movie. Story? Plot? Ah, ah, ah. Who needs those things when you have longing, horny glances across a tennis court? It's really, I mean, I feel like it's a very well-made film. It's incredibly well-made. The acting is all very good. But I don't like any of the characters. I don't like the film. I don't enjoy any of it. And I don't care. I, I, I don't feel like I care what happens at the end. That's my problem with it. I acknowledge full well that I'm probably in the major minority on this. I feel like it's a very well-made film. It's very interesting to watch once. It has the re-watchability of a shoe. Like, I'm never gonna want to see this again. I have no interest. Challengers is really just another look at guacamole film um, about <laughs> how straight men are actually as straight as a roundabout. Like, that's, the, that's, that's really what I took away from this. It is... Really, like, it is a testament to how well made it is and how well directed it is and how well acted it is that this thing I have no interest in, these characters I have no interest in, kind of hooked me in reasonably well for quite a lot of the film. But at the end of the day, um, I mean, Zadea especially, really great. She feels much older than she actually is on screen and she just kind of carries these puppet, like, strings around to maneuver these boys into whatever she wants them to do. But... I just can't get behind her character. I just can't like her. She's clearly like the lead, as much as any of them are. I don't want good things to happen to her. I don't care if good things happen to her. And I don't know if good things happen to her because the film just literally stops at a point. L literally like during a tennis point. It, it kind of made me want to play tennis, but mostly it just made me want to go cry in a shower and hope that my life doesn't turn out like any of these characters. Like, I... <laughs> It's a film where you truly envy no one, despite them all being relatively rich. Well, most of them being relatively rich. I really do appreciate a lot about this film, and I don't think it's terrible, but I took no enjoyment from it, and I will probably never watch it again, so I don't know that I can really recommend it. Especially if you ever want to be able to play tennis again. I'm giving, do you think Wii Sports tennis could be this sexy? Three stars. Luckily, they're all on a tennis court and not an actual court, or they would all be bonk sentenced to horny jail. But seriously, let me know what your totally not horny favorite films are in the comments. And, you know, you can subscribe as well if you fancy it.